Nocturnal Animals is written and directed by Tom Ford, yes, the fashion designer Tom Ford, and it follows an art gallery owner who is portrayed by Amy Adams. And one day, she has sent a manuscript to a novel that was written by her ex-husband. She is then haunted by this story, and it seems maybe to be a sinister threat of revenge. And I'm going to leave it at that. Why, you might ask? Because that's all I knew going into this movie, and I was so glad that I knew very little about this film. So it's that time of year. It's the most wonderful time of year. No, I'm not talking about Christmas. I'm talking about Oscar season. It's now time that we can scrub our mind of the mediocre and just bland films that came out this summer and cleanse our palate with actual high-quality filmmaking like Nocturnal Animals. This movie is a chilling, disturbing, and suspenseful film that really doesn't let you off the hook until the credits start to roll. Let's talk about the performances in this movie. Amy Adams was great in this film. She doesn't have that much of dialogue throughout this film, so a lot of her acting comes through in her facial expressions and the way that she carries herself. And you can really see the pain and the regret in just the way that she looks and even the way that she talks. Aaron Taylor Johnson is also in this film, and he was incredible. Every scene this dude is in, you could just feel the slime and just the filth dripping from the screen. Going into this movie, I didn't know if he could pull off playing such a disgusting, terrible person, but he absolutely crushed it. But the performance in this movie that I think deserves the most praise is Jake Gyllenhaal. I was completely blown away by his performance, and I thought that he was on a completely other level than everyone else in this film. He gives a powerful and heartbreaking performance that literally gave me goosebumps. There was just one scene in particular where he just completely breaks down and just spills his guts out, and it just really had this deep effect on me. I've never really seen any of Tom Ford's movies, so I didn't know the kind of style that he had, but I was really impressed with him. This man is so talented. This is obviously a very stylish movie, and not just from a clothing standpoint, but the way that shots are composed in the set design. It's a great contrast to the desert, which is where the other half of this movie takes place. And I was really impressed with how he creates tension in this movie. There is a turning point in this film that changes everything and from that point forward it creates tension throughout the rest of the film. This film is comprised of three interweaving stories and that usually is really hard to do but I thought that he did it beautifully. I'm just worried that some people might be distracted because one of these stories is a little bit more engaging than the other two so I'm worried that some people when they're watching this movie might want to return to that one engaging story because they might think that the other two are boring. I however didn't feel as if the other two stories dragged at all. I was completely engaged throughout the entirety of this film. This film also has a lot of attention to detail and there's a lot of imagery and there's a lot of depth to this movie that if you don't pay attention you are not going to pick up on. Because this ending leaves you satisfied but it also encourages those car ride conversations of what did you think it mean? How do you think that that fit into the rest of the movie? I was completely blown away by this movie. It's masterfully directed and it has a sleek and stylish feel to it. It has Oscar-worthy performances and an extremely well-written and layered story that is suspenseful throughout the entire film. Definitely don't miss this movie. I don't think it has a wide release yet, so I think you might have to wait until it's on VOD or on Blu-ray, but absolutely check out Nocturnal Animals. So thank you guys for watching today. I just want to let you know that I will have reviews out for Moana and Allied. Those will become later in the week because of the holiday season, and I probably will have to see those towards the end of this weekend. So thank you for being patient. I hope you liked today's video. And if you did, click on the link down below and subscribe to my channel to see more movie reviews and movie-related things. I guess thank you so much for watching and see you next time.